Brian, not that I haven't squeezed you dry enough at this point, but you did have to bring up the name Rocket Ismail. Mm -hmm. I saw something on Twitter the other day where one of the national outfits had posted, and I don't know why, uh, Ty Detmer's acceptance speech of the Heisman Trophy, not at the ceremony, but when it was determined that uh, he was out in Hawaii. That's right. Mm -hmm. They played a um extra game out in hawaii and so he didn't make it to new york anyway that was posted for some reason and as soon as i saw him with the lay on and uh the the hawaiian background it took me back to 1990 and i thought i remember watching this and a lot of notre dame fans jumped on that to say Mm -hmm. dude through 28 interceptions Mm -hmm. why did he win the heisman trophy well I wanted to bring some fairness to it, and I don't discount that because mm-hmm. certainly I watched a ton of those games, and I was in the middle of it in 1990, and I went to the 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 game log, and some of those Ty Detmer games were ugly. Mm-hmm. Five picks, multiple times, throwing five interceptions mm-hmm. in games. But Rocket Ismail, at the same time, for as spectacular as he was, only scored six touchdowns that year. Mm-hmm. That was the weird thing about that era, and and like the year two years before or two year before Tony Rice was a, a Heisman finalist and he had two touchdowns and nine picks. It was a passer. It was a, it was a different era, but it to me it was it was about the Heisman Trophy supposed to go to what the most outstanding player in college football, right? And you look at what Rocket did that year and when you know, and you think of like the Miami game. Right. And I've tried to I've tried to convince you. Know, I've tried to show Notre Dame, young Notre Dame fans this. Right. The guys that kind of only know from like late 90s on or 2000s on and be like, what you have to understand from from like 87 to like 92. Miami was Bama. Right. But Notre Dame was Clemson. And I've pointed out from a, a five year stretch from 80. Was it 87 to 90, 87, 88, 90, 91, 92? From 87 to like 91 or 92, Miami won three titles in five years. The only two years they didn't win a title were years they lost to Notre Dame in the regular season, right? Like Notre Dame, that Notre Dame was that team. They were that thorn in the side of, of Miami, like Clemson has been to Bama, right? And you know, you think of Rockets' long touchdown return in that game. You know, he slips and then still breaks it. You you think of you know, just some of the big moments he had that year where maybe he wasn't scoring touchdowns, much like Barry Sanders didn't always score a lot of touchdowns because his long runs would get you down there. And then the, you know, the the goal line back would get the scores. That happened a lot with Rocket Ismail because when you go look at his numbers, he's a guy that had 699 yards receiving, but he had 537 yards rushing because what Notre Dame would do is in the second half, after they've worn you down, they put Rocket at running back and just pitch him the ball and hand him the ball off and he just take off and, and make big plays. And like I remember a game against Pitts where he had one touchdown. I think it was 90. He only had one touchdown, but he had like three runs that got it inside the – like long runs that got him like inside the 10-yard line. So he was, to me, the most outstanding player in college football that year. And he was just that guy that, you know, when, when, every time he, he – he, every time the ball kind of came his direction, you kind of held your breath. Like, okay, what's about to happen, right? And, and then you can combine that with the fact that, you know, Ty Detmer did what he did. You know, Against there was a the lot, likes of, yeah, you know, Hawaii, San right. Diego State, et cetera. Right. And it, it's kind of like there was several Heisman trophies that were handed out that era that were handed out because the West Coast for Ty Detmer, the West Coast offense. And then it was, the, you know, the run and shoot for Houston where they got the they got the awards just because the numbers were so absurd to what college football had was used to. Saying. Yes. And, you know, you look at Ty Detmer's numbers that year, and he threw for 5,108 yards. Like, that was an insane number back then. Like, that's a lot now. But, you know, you're going to have a couple Mike Leach disciple coach teams or disciple teams are going to do that now. But, you know, it was it was just one of those things where you just kind of look at it and say, you know, h- how does this happen, right? Like, you, you look at they, – they, they beat number one Miami. Okay, well, Notre Dame beat Miami. After that, the next ranked opponent they beat was Wyoming. They played UTEP, Miami, Washington State, San Diego State, Oregon they lost to. They lost to Colorado State. They beat Colorado State, New Mexico, Air Force, Wyoming, Utah, and Utah State. And then they lost to Hawaii at the end of the year. You know, and and then then you look and see kind of what Notre Dame was doing that year, and you're like, you know, Rocket was playing in some big moments that year. You know, like I said, they beat Miami that year. Um, You know, it just was one of those kind of frustrating things where you say, how does that how does that happen right like how does a guy like that not get that trophy 
And uh, it's something that it's two things involving Rocket Notre Dame fans are never going to get over. It's that, and then the clip against Colorado in the bowl game. Those are the two things that Notre Dame fans yeah. will just never, with Rocket, and they'll just never get over. That's understandable yeah. because that yeah. 1990 national championship is is beyond tainted because Colorado <laughs> basically lost three games right. that year and Georgia Tech didn't play anyone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you didn't have the two best teams in the yeah. country vying for a national championship there. But yeah, the the uh, Detmer line, uh, I couldn't have said it better than you because I, all those things ran through my mind because I'm typically, if somebody brings up a Heisman Trophy online, I'm ready to pounce one way or the other. And with this one, I had kind of right. sealed that one away and didn't really, I thought, yeah, Rocket was that guy. But much like Tim Brown a few years before, the stats aren't overwhelming based on what we're, what right. we are accustomed to seeing. Right. But Ty Detmer, my goodness. Um, yeah, he was just, he was slinging it. That's for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. And it was kind of like the Andre Ware Heisman yes. Trophy. You know, uh, it's just kind of like it was that the numbers were just so absurd compared to what anyone else is doing. But again, it's like, well, who are you putting those numbers up against? You know, and and that was kind of the thing for me that always was a little bit frustrating, even back then. And I was young back then. It was just still kind of you just so kind of knew like. Boy, this this team, this team is like this team wouldn't he wouldn't be doing this if he was playing against the same schedules as you know, the, the yeah. other teams are winning. And, you know, Houston was what they were South. The Southwest was still a thing. In, Southwest in eight, right. Yes. But it was, it was crumbling. It was falling apart. Yes. That, you know, it this, wasn't this, what it was a decade earlier right, by any stretch. Right. So it's just one of those things where at least you could say with them, they were in what was considered a power conference at the time, you know, and BYU wasn't. And I know the responsible Notre Dame wasn't in the conference either. Yeah. But they were playing nothing but power five conference. And that wasn't a thing back then. And, uh, you know, it just, um, yeah, it's frustrating. 